Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you some show-stopping prefab homes with features never before seen on the channel. The reason I've never shown said features on the channel is because up until a couple days ago, I didn't know it was a thing, so buckle up because today's video is a doozy. I've been posting videos on everything prefab homes for over two years now, and I still think there is so much I haven't covered. It's a very exciting time to be alive. After a morning lurking around my favorite prefab home chat rooms on the dark web, I came across a company with a production capacity of almost 400,000 square feet of buildings per year with an eye for design. For most people, myself included, that doesn't tell much of a story, but if we say the average home coming out of the factory is around 1,000 square feet, that means they have capacity to build around 400 homes. The company I'm talking about is called Axel House with their lineup of slick looking modular homes. What I'm going to do is tell you about the company, check out their homes, and get into their pricing. Axel House is a modular home company founded in 2004 with some really cool designs building award-winning homes. They currently operate out of five factories with a focus on quality, innovation, and effective production. They say our mission is to be environmentally friendly and to maintain a sustainable production process. We value a highly integrated and supportive team spirit and a well-balanced family life. What really caught me off guard about what they're doing in the factory is the fact that they offer modular homes with or without a foundation. Come again? When I first read that, I thought, okay, they're building the homes to be placed on a foundation or not. It isn't uncommon for a home to be designed and built to not need a foundation. It's just then usually built on a steel frame, like a manufactured home, park model, or a tiny home on wheels, but that isn't what they're talking about at all. When they say they're building the home with a foundation inside the factory, they mean they're building the home with a foundation inside the factory. The website says Axo House produces modular houses with or without foundations since 2004. Our unique technology is applied to build the concrete foundation for a modular house in one of our factories. Unique technology indeed. It continues on, in this case, only a cushion from crushed stone is needed to install a modular house. Just when you thought you knew anything at all. I needed to know more about this process and luckily they touch on it a little bit more in depth online. It says, depending on the selected house and the the condition of the building ground, it takes one to three days to prepare the area. Step one is to remove the dirt and soil. Step two is to lay the crushed stone on the surface to create a cushion, which is later leveled and compressed. At the same time, utility pipes, water, sewer, and electricity are installed under the surface of the building. These installations can be done year round. After finishing the base, the house is brought on a special trailer and unloaded. Foundation and all. Wow. One of the goals of building in a factory is to take work away from the job site to improve efficiency, so it's interesting to see a company building the entire foundation there. Apparently the way it works is the concrete is poured inside the factory and the home is built on top of it. Then the home is transported from the factory to the destination, just like it would be from any other company, except for the fact that it's being transported with the foundation. It's really cool. The primary markets Axel House currently serves are Finland and Sweden, but their homes can also be found in Germany, Iceland, and Estonia. On the landing page of their website, they mention that they're aiming to develop and launch a set of standard modules in new markets, which will create a significant competitive advantage in export markets. So there is potential that these could be making their way into North America at some point. I reached out to Axel House to see if that was a possibility because, <sighs> bring them on over, but I haven't heard back yet. I did try to contact them on a Friday and didn't take the time change into consideration, so I probably won't hear back till Monday. Their factories are located in Estonia and there are other companies building in that area and shipping to North America, so I think it could be a possibility. With the rates to ship overseas returning to somewhat normal levels, it could be an option more companies explore going forward. Just wait till you see these homes. Starting with the smallest of all available floor plans is the Culibri aka Hummingbird. I didn't make that up. Actually says aka Hummingbird right on the site. First things first, Axel House has a range of different exteriors, but whoever's been looking after these designs knows what's up. The exterior of the Hummingbird has a steep metal roof that a lot of people seem to be looking for, and it does look sharp. Quick PSA because I get a lot of comments on this. Quite a few people think that a peaked roof is required in areas that get snow. And that's not the case. If a home is going to an area that gets snow, it can have a lightly sloped roof. It just has to be designed and built for that area. If any area consistently gets snow every year, they will have a snow load requirement and the home has to be built to it. The more snow the area gets, the higher the snow load requirement will be, but the roof can still have a very slight slope because it'll be designed to hold the snow. It's not like we need it to slide off. Sure, 
Maybe a weird time to put that in since the Hummingbird has a steep roof pitch and it's not really relevant to what we're looking at in this moment, but this is a weird channel and that's the way it goes. The Hummingbird has a gross footprint of 280 square feet with a cool design and in that space they even managed to fit a sauna. At first glance you might be sitting there thinking, here he goes again with another studio but nay nay. On the main floor, they've got a living room at the front with two big windows into the space. This area has the kitchen and two entrances before the bathroom at the end of the home. The bathroom has a sink, toilet, shower, all the usual stuff, but on top of that, on the other side of the shower, they've got a sauna. Because this home has a steep roof pitch, you'll be able to place it in climates that get snow. Just kidding. What I was gonna say is because this home has a steep roof pitch, they were able to fit a loft above the bathroom. It's a really nice little unit, but let's see what else they got. Axel House has a bunch of great homes, but I'm gonna to stick to my top three. Out of the top three, my favorite is the Muhu. Pronunciation seems questionable on this one. It has the same peaked roof, a cottage feel, and the wood siding with black accent that I think really finishes off the look. Honestly, it isn't every day I come across an exterior that I get this excited about. Inside, the home is a one bedroom, one bathroom with a loft and another bright open living space. The total footprint is right around 475 square feet and once again, they've got a lot going on in a compact unit. Starting at the front of the home, they have the living room with massive windows on the front. It's open to the dining room and finally the kitchen. On the left of the kitchen is the stairs to the loft and past that you'll find the bathroom. The bathroom has an option to be built with or without a sauna, so personal choice there. And I'd likely go without it because I run pretty hot as it is and if anything, I'm trying not to sweat to avoid pancakes. At the end of the home, they've got the bedroom, then upstairs, of course, the loft. And all in all, I will be very surprised if people aren't huge raging fans of this home. The final home I think you really need to know about from Axel House is their stellar one with gable roof. I tend to show more of the smaller units available but have had requests for larger homes so I'm gonna mix in more two and three bedrooms. The Stella One is a three bedroom, one bathroom home with a gross footprint of just over 1,200 square feet. What I like best about the Stella One is the exterior. How they decked this thing combined with the offset roof is taste and I think this is something that has a lot of flexibility on where it's placed. Inside the home is a fairly common plan that has the bedroom stacked at the back with the bathroom and the living room kitchen at the front. Seems like a common theme from Axo House is an abundance of natural light in the living space that's made possible with two sliding glass doors and some large windows on both the end and side wall. The interior design in their show model looks amazing. I like the white cabinets, the wood on the ceiling, and the accent wall behind the TV. Axo House has put a lot of thought into the details both inside and out on these homes and I'm really impressed with what they offer. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna talk about pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. The prices are listed in euros, but I will post the USD conversion. The Hummingbird has a base price of 67,100 euros. The Muhu has a base price of 99,990 euros. And the Stella One has a base price of 246,000 390 euros. Axel House is a prefab home builder located in Estonia, building with some unbelievable designs and exteriors that I think people are gonna want in North America. Their website says they're looking at opportunities to export, but doesn't say where or when the new markets might be introduced. I'm pretty excited about this find, so I'm definitely gonna be following along with what they're up to and posting any updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.